Hey guys, it's Retro Adam here. Um, today I got this really cool device. Uh, it's called the Anbernic RG351M. Uh, it's a sweet little device that plays uh, retro uh, games, um, and you can fit quite a few on here. You can fit like, you know, fifty thousand games on here if you wanted to. Um, it goes for about a hundred. I paid one hundred forty-four dollars for this uh, Canadian, um, and it plays uh, systems from like you know, Atari all the way up to. Uh, about PlayStation N64 uh, era. But uh, let me just show you a quick look at it. Uh, the power button's just right here. And uh, I just wanted to just give you a quick peek at what this device can do. Uh, I upgraded the operating system to Amber Elec. Uh, so it's the, one of the newer operating systems. Uh, so it's going to um, be able to run most of the uh, newer features uh, if you upgrade. Uh, the, it runs on an SD card just at the bottom here. Um, it's just loading all the systems there. But yeah, this device is really cool. It, um, I'll show you all the different systems I have on here. And so I got, there's Nintendo, uh, those are hacks, uh, PlayStation, Pokemon Mini, PlayStation Portable, PlayStation Minis, uh, Super Nintendo, Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color. Uh, those are all my game's favorites and last played tools. Uh, so there's Atari 2600, Famicom Disk System, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Genesis Hacks, uh, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, uh, N64, and Nintendo DS, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, so, so you can have more systems on here. Those are just the ones that I've added uh, onto it. Um, but when you do buy this device, it does come preloaded with games. Um, but I, I went into the SD card and, and kind of customized it a bit more. Um, this version does have Wi-Fi, so if you wanted to get retro achievements on here, um, I would recommend getting a, a version with Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm extremely happy with this, this device. Very pocketable, um, easy to bring with you. Um, you know, you can take it to, you know, wherever camping or bus ride uh, any anywhere that you're you know long wait lines or something like that um but great little handy device to have with you as a as a time waster i guess <laughs> but uh here let me show you what it looks like when you start the game so you just enter and then here's your list of games so you just pick and choose uh these are games i've favorited so it's got the little stars on them um but for example here let me just jump into like blaster master or something so you start that up I start a new game, dives in, and it uh, just takes a few seconds to, to load up. And there you go, you got Blaster Master. And it'll turn on the speaker here. So yeah, just like that, you got yourself a little NES uh, Pocket Edition here. So again, oh god, it's hard to play one-handed. So you can customize the controls and uh, remap them to, have a, to however you like. Um, and then for retro achievements, you can also check that too. So you just go into the main menu here, RetroArch, go scroll down to um, achievements. And then same thing again, um, it shows you all the, the different achievements that are available. So defeat all seven warlords, obtain wall one, so these ones are all locked, but I'll show you the ones I've unlocked. So here, use homing missile, use thunder break, use multi-warhead missiles. And then same thing, it pops up in the corner, and then it tells you when you've unlocked uh, an achievement. So this is like a lot of games have this ability. You just need to create an account on the Retro Achievements uh, website. Just create an account, log in on your device, and then you can, you know, away you go with unlocking uh, games and such. But uh, let me show you another let me show you super nintendo as well or actually let me show you game boy advance real quick um so i just want to exit here there it is quit white drug so i'm just gonna hop into game boy advance real quick so it pops back out uh so there's uh that's nintendo so game boy advance i think it's just right over here actually so here's game boy advance so you just hop in there oh it just jumped into advance wars there all right so here's advance wars so again, looks great. Fills the screen up like perfectly. Uh, this is starting a new game here for me, but uh, 
Here, let me let me jump into a game that I've already kind of played. Uh, so let's go back. So let's check. So there's uh, Advance Wars Two, uh, Balderdash, Breath of Fire. So let's jump into uh, let's say Castlevania, I guess. So let's jump into Arius. Uh, no, let's jump into Circle of the Moon. You see a button jumps in. So yeah, just hops right in. You just start a new game. A. Oh, another neat little feature of this too is you can create um, like fast forwarding and stuff. So if I wanted to, for example, if I wanted to skip this, I could just fast forward, right? And then same with all this, like, for example, say I didn't want to, you know, sit through this. I'm just fast forwarding it right now, right? So you get, there's neat little tricks you can do uh, with that as well, like slow down, fast forward, safe states, a um, bunch of different shaders. So you can have different uh, shaders for your game so that you can, you know, upgrade the, the look of the games. Right now I have kind of like a pixel shader on it, so it has that nice authentic pixel look to it. Um, but yeah, so let me just fast forward that. There you go. And then, yeah, we're in the game. You can use the joystick too, if you want. Um, and yeah, it's just like having a Game Boy Advance on the go with a nice backlit screen. So and there you go. Uh, so that's Game Boy Advance. Uh, ah, just want to get to uh, the main screen here. So yeah, this is the Amber Nick. Uh, RG351M, it's the metal version. Um, so I really, really like this device. Um, if I wanted to pick up uh, another device, handheld device, uh, as my next one, I'd probably get the um, RG, or no, it's called the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Um, it's a bit bigger than this, nice big screen, um, looks very comfortable. Um, but if you wanted something you know with a bigger screen, I would recommend that one. But if you want something pocketable and just easy to bring along with you, um, this is a great little handy device um, to bring with you. So yeah, I would uh, check it out.